we're going to make cherry muffins. This is a really quick and pretty fast recipe. Start with a large bowl, and in the large bowl, you're going to put three quarters of a cup of milk. You're going to put in a quarter cup of canola oil in, and with a whisk or a spoon, just combine it together, and you're gonna put one egg in. And you just want it to come together. You really don't have to beat it or anything like that. Next, you're going to put in two cups of all-purpose flour, and then again, just whisk it in, or with your spatula or spoon, till it combines. And the batter's going to become um, thick at this time. All right. I'm just going to take out my excess batter out of this. If you find that the batter's a little too dry, add a little bit of extra milk, maybe um, an eighth of a cup or that type of thing. And my batter is looking a little dry, so I'm going to add just a little bit more milk to it. And then mix that in. And then we're going to need sugar. And you're going to use a half a cup of granulated sugar. That was a half a cup. And just mix that in your batter. Now once you do that, then you're going to put in two teaspoons of baking powder. You're also going to put in a half a teaspoon of salt. And again, just bring it together. You don't want to overbeat it because you don't want to make these muffins tough. But you do want that to be well combined. And the next thing that you're going to put in is a half a cup of dried cherries. Now, if you want to use fresh, and you have fresh cherries, then go ahead and use a cup of them, but make sure that they're uh, well drained, and you could use frozen cherries, but again, make sure that they're well drained. One cup if you're using fresh. So once you get that all combined, then with a regular scoop, ice cream scoop, just try to put one level in your muffin pan, and you're going to get 12 muffins out of this recipe. You're going to bake them at 400 degrees anywhere from 20 to 25 minutes. So start checking them, you know, around 20 minutes or so with a toothpick or a cake tester to see that they're cooked all the way through. I have some that I've made ahead of time to show you. And this is what they're going to look like when they're baked up. And I'm going to just open one up, get it out of the liner to show you. They come out a beautiful golden brown on the bottom as well as the top. I'm going to cut down into one to show you how very delicate and moist it comes out. So there you have it. You have cherry muffins. What a quick and easy recipe to make. I hope you like this one. If you do, leave a comment. I'd like to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.